The up and down wind abilities of the foil is probably what makes it so much fun for most people at home to use. If you're on the lake, you can go explore the whole lake. If you're on the coastline, you can go to the next village and back downwind again. And to do this, I will go through some techniques to really point upwind and really go downwind to make sure you can explore wherever you are sailing on the world. First of all, upwind. There's basically one technique which really helps you to go upwind, which normally you're having your shoulders and your hips facing the sail. To go upwind, basically you're looking upwind and while looking upwind, you're turning your shoulders and your hips in and this will make all your equipment go upwind. The moment you feel you don't have enough power anymore because you're really killing the power, um, you're basically pointing too much upwind. So you really want to find the balance like, okay, I want to go upwind, but I want to have enough speed to stay on the foil. So this way, sometimes the wind is shifting. You're basically taking some speed, go more upwind. So you're playing a little bit, but the moment you go all the way and you don't have power anymore, means you're pointing too much against the wind. Um, the moment you're really going fast, normally it means that you're going half wind. So you will not be on the other side of the lake or ocean that quickly. So really try to find the balance. Now I'm in the upwind position. From here we go downwind. Here it's really important that you catch enough wind as well, because completely down you're losing all the power. What's happening obviously your shoulders and uh, hips are turning back again. Your shoulders can turn the other way. You really try to extend your front arm. While you extend your front arm, your sail is completely upright and you're catching wind. It's the same with your body. So your back arm is, is quite bended and your body is leaning a little bit more backwards because you're more with your body on top of the foil. And while you have your body more on top of the foil, you really feel that you uh, take the power from that position into your downwind speed. When you want to go upwind, which is in this case behind my back, you, you, you look where you want to go and while you're looking, your shoulders and hips are turning in. The moment your hips and shoulders are turning in and you're looking upwind, the whole gear will come automatically upwind as well. The moment we go down again, it's basically shifting your, your hips and shoulders again. We, we, instead of neutral, we turn it a little bit more. We're extending the front arm because when we extend the front arm, the sail is as straight as possible. And this way it's catching a lot of wind because sailing completely downwind really kills the power in your sail as well. So we really want to extend that front arm. And with the back arm, we are playing with the power to see like, okay, a little bit more open, you're catching more wind, a little bit more close, you're catching less wind again, but probably a bit more speed. So we're really playing like this. In the meantime, you can see my body is leaning to the back a little bit. This makes sure the power goes on top of the foil so you have enough power to stay high. With these two techniques, you can discover your place really, really quickly and I hope you enjoy.